Awesome. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us today, guys. We're going to go right into questions for our defensive tackle, Jordan Miller. If you've got a question, please use the hand raise function and uh, use it early if you could so we can make sure we get to everyone. We're going to start with Manny Navarro from The Athletic, Jordan. Manny, go ahead. Uh, hey, Jordan. <clears throat> Curious about uh, what your offseason focus was, you know, in terms of individual improvement and then, you know, what kind of gains you made in, in the weight room with uh, Coach Feely, how your body is, is different from the end of last season, you know, weight-wise, strength-wise, are you benching more, et cetera? Uh, yeah, I came back, like, from the little COVID break. COVID kind of messed me up. I gained, I gained, like, 10 or so pounds, so I came back, like, 330-something, 336, to be exact. And then, like, now, today, I'm 316, so my main focus was to be, like, faster, quicker, and develop more moves, like, instead of just being bull rush, because bull rush doesn't last long. So, like, I've mainly focused on being faster, quicker, and having more moves. And, and I could, if I could, with a quick follow, just, um, you know, Nesta not being out there obviously creates more opportunities for you guys. Uh, just curious, you know, who, who you're working behind or who you're working, and obviously both of those defensive tackle spots, uh, but who, who, where are you working in mostly? Uh, mostly I've been working with the ones. I've been in there sometimes with the twos, but like uh, recently, like this week and the past week that uh, this past, I've been with the one. So it's been a, it's been different, but I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you. Awesome. Jordan, we're going to go to David Ferronez at the Sun Sentinel. David, go ahead. Hey, Jordan, I want to know uh, what it's like uh, having Jess Simpson back uh, What uh, and kind of what he uh, wants out of his D tackles. So is that kind of in line with what you were mentioning, how you want to develop more moves, uh, be quicker on the inside? Yeah, well, with Coach Simpson being back, I really love it because he's, he's really technical. He's like the little things really matter to him, and they matter to me too. So, like, when he's, like, he's looking at film, like, even, even with our film, like, each player has like a section just for them, like film all for them. So it's like 91, 96, 90, well, 98, 81. It's like different sets of film just for us going over every play we've done so far. So I like how technical he is. And he's like, I really feel myself improving because some of the moves I'm doing today, I didn't do last year. So I really like it. Awesome. Jordan, we're gonna go to Barry Jackson at the Miami Herald. Barry? Hi, Jordan. As a defense, you all were pretty good against the run last year, except obviously for the North Carolina game. And I wondered whether either Coach Diaz or Coach Simpson have broken down tape of the North Carolina game with you all as either a defense, as a defensive line in the three months, four months since that game happened. Uh, we've looked at it a little bit to like, no, to never go back to that. That was like our worst, like the worst time playing run. So we looked at a little bit, but we didn't really dwell on the past that much. So we're like, we're focused on improving the future, but we've had made like playing the run better. Like, like knowing what to look at, knowing the back set keys, knowing our eyes, eyes are a big thing. So we've really been focusing on that too. So I feel like we're, we're improving a lot. Thank you. Jordan, last hand I see up is Susan Miller Degden from the Miami Herald. Susan, go ahead. Hi Jordan, how are you? Like the last name. <laughs> I, yeah, I like yours too. <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, two things. One, I want to know how much you were inspired yesterday. I figured, were you at pro day? Um, oh, by, yes, no. by those defensive linemen, how, you know, what you thought of each one of them. And the other thing is you said that COVID kind of messed you up. In, in what way? Were you sick for a long time? Or was that last season, this, this year? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I'll start off with the pro day. Um, the pro day, yeah, I was I really liked it. Like seeing Jalen, Greg, even even Chigoze, haven't seen haven't been seeing him for like a year. Even seeing them back again, it felt good. It felt like felt, it was like a family moment. Like you were at a family cookout or something, and you see like old family. It, it, it warmed my heart. And then even seeing them like test, like watching Jalen run his forty, watching Greg run his forty. I was like, it, it was like. I know they were happy with the results they got, and I was even happy like I was out there running. So I was really happy, just very, very, very happy. <laughs> Good. And then the COVID thing. I just wanted, oh. what, when was that, and what did it do to you? What happened? Uh, the COVID, it was like, it was weird because that break, I was like, okay, I'm going to use this break to take care of my body, work out some. And I ended up like taking care of my body a little bit too much and it was like okay I gotta start back working out and stuff like that 
but I wasn't working out as intense as like when we we're here working out. So it kind of messed me up. I thought I was working out good, but then I came back and I was like heavy. And I was like, oh man. And then when I got COVID, I really didn't want to do anything. And I was like tired every time I did something. So that really set me back too. But was it last year? I, I just wondering what, so I don't screw this up. When did you actually have it? When were you diagnosed? Um, was it? Around. Was it, was it, was it? I think, I think it was like early this year. In, in 2021, okay. Yeah, it was like early this year, I think. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. I got one more for you, Jordan. We're gonna go to Chris Stock at Inside the U. Chris, go ahead. I want to get your take on the running backs. Um, have, you, have you seen differences with with those three guys this spring so far? Uh, yeah, with the running backs, they're running like they're running with intent. Like their cuts, the way they run, the way they know, like like they're not they're not running to the sideline, like like running out of bounds. They're running to make yards, get yards, and I really like that about everybody. Like Don Chaney, Cam Harris, like I, I really like that about our running backs now. Even even a uh, little rooster. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> Jordan, thanks for spending a few minutes with us today, and I'm sure we'll be talking to you soon. Yes, sir. Have a good one. You as well.